All right, hello, and welcome back to the second quest of the Legend of Zelda. We're going to head off to level 7, which is very nearby, which I appreciate. A little decreased travel time, and I very much appreciate having both our life and bombs replenished before we head into the dungeon. All right, we're going to go down this way and open the door from this side. And then just wrap around so we can actually access the entrance. And down here. Now, you need to have at least 50 rupees when you enter this dungeon, uh, just like with, what was it, level 4? Um, if you have 100, that's better, um, but not necessary. Um, and we'll see for the most part why a little later on. Alright, so we will collect the compass there, and then we don't actually need to take this stairway, but I'll show you the room on the other side. In reality, the point of this stairway is that if you essentially go the wrong direction at the end, this uh, will bring you back to the beginning, um, so you can start over. Um, so. All we're doing now is just turning back around and going back to right where we just were, because as you can see, that room had two closed doors that we could not open. So let's continue on. When we get the map, I'll talk about the actual shape of the dungeon, but... Um, despite the shape, the map ultimately is a bit of a maze. Just picking that up. Alright, let's take care of these guys. Um, we probably could skip a lot more of the fighting than I do, but um, I guess I just really like having opportunities to embarrass myself in ways that I should not be having difficulty against a very small number of 50% orange dark nuts. But, such is life. Maybe it'll be a wake-up call for the rooms coming up. Alright, let's get our candle out quickly. Nothing too special. We're going to do the same kind of thing. In this room, we can uh, kind of cheese it a little bit by hiding on the water, which I will absolutely take advantage of. Certainly not above that. There we go. And then we'll just try to sneak past the bubbles unsuccessfully. Let's get hit by the blue one. All right, we got our attack back. And, oh. Yeah, if they're going to be this annoying, I wish they would at least be a little more regular in their movements. Um, all right, let's try to... If we're getting hit, let's try to get hit by the uh, bubble. an annoyance, but much less of one than being hit by any of the enemies, so I'll take it. See if we can snipe them a little bit from over here. Alright. Can get that? There we go. Get a little closer. And take care of that guy. Then we'll move this block. Head up this way. this room that's full of uh, keys that we're ultimately going to have to deal with. We don't have to deal with all of them right now, so I'll just head out. We are, however, going to have to deal with these guys. Let's get our bow quickly. Take care of our... Oh, that's right. I forgot that the Dark Nuts will essentially act as shields. Alright. I don't really need that, but I always like to grab them. And don't be fooled by the key, you still want to take out all of these enemies, because when we do, we will find that we can move this block and head down the stairs here, where we'll get an admittedly not 
all that exciting item, but the red candle, which still does provide some small value, more so if you don't know all the secrets and you're doing more searching, but um, that's okay. Personally, I think it would have been better if they provided it to you before this level, since you have to burn the tree down in order to find it. Um, seems like that would have been a helpful thing to have, but that's just, you know, one man's opinion. All right, so we'll head back to where we were earlier and continue on our path. Now that we have the secret item from this dungeon, I believe 8 and 9 both have two items each. Let's get our bombs out and see if we can get a little luckier than uh, I often am with this. Oh, excellent. All right. I'm going to push this block. We'll open up both of these doors, and we actually will be seeing this room again in a little bit. We don't have to. Um, technically involves going the wrong way, but I'll show it off um, just for kind of completeness sake. There is one room that we're not going to be showing unless we get very lucky with rupee drops, um, but I don't expect to show it. Um, and even if we do get them, honestly, it might not be worth it. It's just going to be paying 50 rupees for nothing. All right, we have to get hit by the blue bubble once it gets over here. There we go. And again, we can kind of use our uh, cheap method. Because why not? Alright, grab the map. So now you can see basically the whole level is laid out just as a big spiral. Um, because of all the stairways and everything, it doesn't end up being quite that straightforward and linear, but at least in appearance, that's exactly what it is. Or physical layout, you know. Um, okay. There we go. Well, just one room, but that did go nicely. I'm happy about it. Probably there's no reason to fight these guys. Um, and I think I'm just going to regret it, but... Well, might as well just uh, prove ourselves the hero of time and take them all out. If you wanted to head back in the other direction, this would be necessary, as unless I'm misremembering, killing these guys will open the door behind us, but it's not somewhere we're going, so we will not benefit from it. All right, there we go. And, of course, Another Goma. Ah. Yeah, we had a good run with having our sword beam still intact. I'll take it. I feel like my shooting's getting better. Either that or I just got lucky. My guess is it's more luck, but... Never say no to a little bit of luck. All right, relatively easy room, which hopefully I don't pay for saying that. All right, and I believe this block we're going to push, and we'll sneak in behind. Very nice. All right, let's head up this direction, and this is kind of an interesting room where I don't know how it is um, in the original Nintendo, but basically this system clearly can't operate all of these sprites at once. Um, so until at least one of them's dead, it works very slowly. Um, but once one dies, it picks up the pace. All right. 
another room where honestly I don't remember if there's any value to killing them. We might get some bombs or something, but uh, in reality I think this is going to be just a noble <clears throat> effort to reduce the forces of Ganon's army more than anything else. So yeah, the room we actually want to go to is on the right here. This room up north is the one that we're not going to go in at all. It is another one of the rooms that, you know, is a, a your money or your life room. And I just don't feel like dealing with that. What I will do, however, is come in here. I'm going to take out these guys. Not a uh, huge challenge. Now, if we were to go north... That would be bring us to the room that we've already been to, the one that uh, had the red bubbles, which connected to the very first room of the dungeon, so we do not want to go there, because we would just get trapped. Can, however, come down here, kill these guys. I'm actually not going to bother. I just don't feel like it anymore. Um, but you get, I believe, bombs from these guys, but um, we are full of bombs, so let's just uh, head back out. Um, and we will push this, and like I said, this locks behind us, unfortunately, so even though we're not going to go all the way back to the beginning, we are going to have to retrace a decent amount of our steps. Going all the way back to here. There we go. And for the most part, we won't have to deal with any enemies except for that one room with dark nuts. Generally, they'll have respawned by this point. Um, we'll see. But usually, we end up having to refight them again. In here, I believe, yeah. Um, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. At least we've gotten some practice against them. Probably more than enough. There we go. And again, maybe not more than enough. Alright, there we go. Now these ones we can just skip over, we don't need to fight them again. Um, once we find an opening. Okay. And we can just take the stairs again. There we go. Alright, now this time we'll actually go where we need to. Yeah, I'll just leave it slow. Won't even kill anyone that way. Nice and easy to sneak past them. And the direction we need to go is also a your money or your life room. Which is very rude. And even though we don't really need to, we'll go to this room up to the north right here. And take out this kind young fella. There we go. Got out mostly unscathed, they'll take it. Alright. I hate, hate, hate these rooms with the dark nuts in them. It's just such little maneuverability. damage than I would have liked to, but we are almost through. Oh, oh, that's just terribly done. Alright, well, hopefully we keep it together for the end. I suppose we do have our Water of Life as a backup, 
Although I prefer not to use it. I'd also prefer not to get hit by the keys, but um, all right. Why don't we why don't we give it a shot? Need the blue bubble. There you are. And I need the blue bubble again. Come on. Every time I get to the blue bubble, I end up getting hit again. It's fine. We basically just use that as a reset. I should have taken that opportunity to get a couple of bomb attacks in, but wasn't smart enough. Need the blue bubble? Come on. go. Ugh. Really hate these red bubble things. Easily, for me, the most frustrating enemy. Um, just such, such an annoyance. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Um, all right. Now I think we got a room full of blue dark nuts. Unfortunately, Let's see how we do here. Definitely in danger of needing to use our potion. Which I suppose that's why we have it. So. Doesn't do us any good if it just sits unused in the inventory. All right, and now we have our fight with the four-headed Gliok with four hearts. Not the healthiest situation, but let's see what we got. Be tight. I think we can do it though. There we go. Alright. Very nice. Alright, we'll slide out of here. Collect the seventh piece of the Triforce. And as we get outside, we'll end things here. When we come back, we'll head off to level eight and complete the Triforce of Wisdom, uh, which we will then take with us to Assault Ganon's Domain. But till then, See ya.